Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool, truly. Learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? 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 Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome one and welcome all to the Shamrock News. It's a wonderful Wednesday where the weather is beautiful and so are you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Silas, aka Mr. Weezer Man. I'm Kayla, aka Herbert. And we're kicking off today's episode with the Season 11 Shamrock News applications. Get ready, 7th graders. Attention 7th graders, it's wild to think that we're already here, but it's that time of the year. It's time to select next year's Shamrock News team. The Shamrock News is an important part of our school. Members of the Shamrock News organize the school dances, we run the school-wide Lexia challenges, and we produce our podcasts. We host events like basketball 3v3, soccer penalty kicks, chess competitions, and game days. We curate our school's Instagram and other pages. We film throughout the school and edit the footage in our classroom. It's our jobs to be understanding individuals in the Rao community and demonstrate leadership, empathy, kindness, and hard work throughout the building. Oh yeah, and we also put together over 30 episodes that are over 20 minutes long every single year. And we want the best of the best of this year's seventh graders to be our Shamrock News members next year. So if you'd like to apply, here's what you need to do. Head to the Rao Hub and go to the assignment called Shamrock News Applications. Your first step is to fill out the application. You'll need to tell us your name and pronouns. You'll then have to tell us what technological skills you have. If you are in media arts this year, tell us that you know how to use the cameras and computers. Don't worry, if you don't have any technical experience, you will not be disqualified. We just want to get an idea how many students have experience with film, you will also need to pr provide a list of activities which you participated in. These activities could be at school activities or out of school activities. You will then need to tell us which segments you'd like to take over or new segments you'd like to start. Then you must choose two of your current 7th grade teachers you want Mr. Dix to contact on your behalf for recommendations. They must be a 7th grade teacher that you had this year. We want to know how you'll perform in the classroom and how well you work with other people. Finally, you'll need to write an essay on why you'd be a good member for the news. You can write it by hand and submit it to Mr. Dix or you can write it in a Google Doc and submit it to Mr. Dix either via email or the assignment in the grade level hub. Explain to us why we should pick you to be a correspondent in next year's news program. There is a help slot show in your grade level hub to give you essay ideas. Mr. Dix and the Shamrock News members will look at the applications, score the essays, and catalog the scores your teachers give you. We score the essays anonymously, so we don't show any biases or favoritism towards any students. We will then hold interviews on Friday, May 10th, when you and all of this year's applicants will be asked a series of questions by this year's 8th grade Shamrock News team. When it's all said and done, we will tally up your scores. Here's the breakdown. Your essay is 20 points, the interview questions are 20 points and your staff recommendations are 20 points. That's a total of 60 points. From there, we will take our top 40 to 45 students who score 40 out of 60 or higher. You must also have at least a 2.0 GPA with no Fs in order to be selected. If you do not meet the grading criteria by the day of the interview, you will not be chosen. 
In addition to that, we will also take off three points for every five targets you have from the start of the second semester until the day of the interview. All applications must be submitted by Friday, April 26th. All late applications will be dismissed, no exception. You will be notified whether, on whether or not you have been selected to be a member of Season 11 of the Shamrock News on Friday, May 15th. So, if you want to be a part of the Shamrock News next year, fill out the application and complete the steps listed in your RAL Hub in Google Classroom. Welcome back to Raw Reads ASMR edition. Today we're gonna be today the book of the week I guess is Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender. It's basically about how the main character's sister is like a weirdly obsessed with an antique doll, and um, her sister's like looky well, kind of weird. I guess that's how she, the main character describes her. And um, and then like somehow Casey turns more and more weird as she continues to have the dog by her side, and it gets to a point where it becomes dangerous for her and her family. I recommend this book to anyone who likes horror and kind of mystery. And there's also a second. There's like a sequel and a third sequel. I know you call that. I just recommend this book to I don't know. In addition to 7th graders applying for Shamrock News, 8th graders can apply to run for student government at Milwaukee High School. Hey 8th graders, are you looking for an opportunity to create change in your school community at the high school level? Interested in organizing dances and running events like the Blood Drive or other fundraisers? Would you love to collaborate with peers of all grade levels? Do you want to create content for Milwaukee's social media pages? Then student government might just be the class for you. If you're elected to be a freshman representative, you'll join the elected sophomores, juniors, and seniors to organize events and activities for the Milwaukee community. You'll be collaborating with peers and working together. As a member of student government, you will be one of the leaders of the school. In order to be eligible, you must have at least a 2.5 GPA with no current Fs. If you're interested, please head to your Google Classroom grade level hub for more information. Here you'll find a form to fill out in the presentation with instructions for your one minute long video you'll need to film. For your video, you'll need to film yourself answering questions you select from a group of options. These videos will be turned into a presentation and then shared with the 8th gr grade class via the grade level hub. The form and video must be completed by Friday, May 10th. Yeah! Students will be notified by Mr. Dix on Monday, May 13th if they've qualified to run for office. Eighth graders, you'll vote for student government representatives the week of May 28th through May 31st via Google Classroom. The first student government meeting takes place on Wednesday, June 12th after school. If you have any questions about student government, please contact Mr. Dix. May 21st. May 21st. May 21st. May 21st. May 21st. And you might be asking, what's on May 21st? It's the Spring Family Night. Come, Come join, join us for Family, family night, night on May 21st. The students and staff at Brown Middle School are readers. We read all kinds of books, from graphic novels to teen romance to fantasy to biographies and everything in between. We want to reward those students who are constantly knocking out new books. Which means we're bringing back Shrooks for the entire fourth quarter. What's, What's a Shrook? A Shrook is for a book. When you finish a book, tell your language arts teacher. The language arts teacher will give you a Shrook. 
Then you'll need to fill out the front, adding your name, your grade level, and the name of the book you read, and the author of the book you read. Then you'll need to fill out the back, which means answering two questions. Number one, who is your favorite character? And number two, what was your favorite part? Once you've done all of that, give it back to your teacher and they'll sign it. Then head down to the library and drop the shrug off in the shrug nook. If you're in 6th grade, put it in the 6th grade bucket. 7th grade goes in the 7th grade bucket. 8th grade goes in the 8th. The Sharemark News team will pull a stroke from each grade level bucket every week. And those students will win a $10 gift certificate to Barnes & Noble. We'll do this for 9 consecutive weeks on the Shamrock News. Your LA teachers will start awarding strokes on Monday, April 15th. So let's get reading, right? On Tuesday, April 16th, you're invited to Milwaukee High School and Milwaukee Academy of the Arts for 8th grade night. Please come to Milwaukee High School and Ma for a tour. Introduce yourself to coaches and enjoy some good food. Get a chance to see the campus and meet amazing staff and so much more. The staff can't wait to see you there. Flip the script. Flip it. If you have any questions, please call the high school at 503-353-5482. If you have any questions, please call the high school at 503-353-5482. Ms. Larson and the Milwaukee High School Cheer Squad is holding cheer clinics throughout the months of May and April. Ms. Larson and the high school cheerleading teams are holding cheer clinics this April and May. Sit and showing your school spirit and shaking some pom-poms at the football and basketball games next year. Or if you want to compete against other cheerleading teams across the state, Then come out and join Ms. Larson for some cheer camps and clinics to get yourself ready. <laughs> the cheer clinics accept all levels of cheerleading. Come out and see what it takes to be a high school cheerleader. Clinics are open from incoming freshmen to seniors for the season of 2024 through 2025. Ms. Larson and the participants will be learning routines for the upcoming season and practicing techniques for the tryouts. They highly recommend that you come to these clinics for that reason. These clinics cost $2 and take place in the MHS Commons. Scholarships are available for those who cannot pay. They take place every Wednesday throughout the month of April. Every Monday and Wednesday throughout the month of May. If you have any questions, see Ms. Larson in room 110 for details. students this summer in August and you can sign up for that in the Rao Hub. Hey! What are you guys <laughs> And we're also going to have a volleyball open gym on Friday, April 19th in the main gym. <laughs> anywhere you go, anywhere you look, you can find me on the low with my nose in the book, turn through the pages, reading through the script by the end. We'll be setting up multiple courts in the gym during both lunches. You and your friends can come down, hop on a team, 
and drum set spike your way into a fun reset. Oh, I get on We might even get some staff to come down and play against the students. <laughs> Friday, April 19th. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Anyone and everyone is welcome. We look forward to seeing you over there rallying over the net. <laughs> over to Miss York's open gym after school. Sign up for her for her camps this summer and join us for open gym at lunch. Rao Middle School's very own Aristin May has started his own clothing company. We met with him to talk about 21 Archive and also raffle off some gear. Whether it's some orange and beige shorts, or the black and white ones, or the two different hoodies, you probably have seen the brand name 21 Archives throughout Rao Middle School. You may have not known is that our creator of this cool new clothing line is one of our own very Rao Middle School Shamrock. Eighth grader Arisa May started 21 Archives with his older brother Jalen back in 2023. And in the last year, they've dropped four different items. And the items are a hit with fans of the clothing company, so much so that it's hard to pick a favorite drop. What do you like about 21 Archives clothes? I enjoy uh, how flexible they are and, like, and comfy they are when you're hooping. I like how comfortable they are and, and their design too. What's your favorite drop so far? Um, my favorite drop is probably their new zip up. I would say this, but they're on release. So. Uh, this one right here, I forgot what it was called, but this one, this one's tough. Who are we here with? Mr. Dix. What do you like about 21 Archives clothes? I love 21 Archives, they're super dope. I got the black shorts, I got the orange and brown shorts, I got the new hoodie that just dropped. It's comfortable, it fits well, it's my favorite clothing brand out there. What is your favorite drop so far? I think I like the black shorts just because I like the shorts. Like I always like new pairs of shorts and the black can go with anything, so that's the one that I end up wearing the most, but I dig all of the drops so far. All right, thank you. What do you like about 21 Archives clothes? Mm, I like it because it's comfy and it's like heavyweight and it's tough. It, it's comfy, it's like, it, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> What's your favorite drop? The zero, zero, three zip up. <laughs> this, yeah, that zip up is tough. What's your favorite thing about 21 Archive? Um, they're comfortable and they're good to play basketball in. Mm, what's your favorite drop right now? Probably these ones. Or this hoodie, mm. but I don't have it. We caught up with Arisen and asked him about 21 Archives and what it's like being a fashion designer at 14. Who are we here with? Arisen. How does it feel to see people wearing clothes you designed? It feels good. How do you design all your products? On Procreate, but I can't give out like the other stuff. How do you decide what to drop? Um, I don't know, we just gotta like plan things ahead, I guess. What's your favorite part of making clothes? All the money. If you're looking to purchase your own 21 Archives item, head to their Instagram page at 21 Archives. You have to hurry though, because their products sell really fast. However, the Shamrock News is giving away two free 21 Archive hoodies. We've got a medium and large that we'll be raffling off next week. Just drop off your good news slips or shocks in the 21 Archives box that corresponds with your size in the main lobby. The Shamrock News and Arista will be pulling names to award those hoodies to the students we choose. So shout out to Arista and 21 Archives. If you want to get on the wagon before it takes off, submit your shocks or good news slips to 21 Archives raffle in the main lobby. 
Thanks for joining us today, Route Middle School. We'll see you next time on the Shamrock News. Same Shamrock time. Same Shamrock place. Peace! Would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to Jose? Uh, I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to all the people that helped with the dance. Um, to all the people that uh, were able to help all Friday who were in the studio room. Uh, I want to give a Shamrock shout out to them. You know who you are. I uh, want to give a shout out to Walter for helping me with the chase down. If you know who Walter is, you know you, if you know. I uh, want to give a Shamrock shout out to all the Fuego people. Uh, this weirdo, I guess. Like I don't, I don't know who he is. <laughs> uh, Vivian. Uh, and let's really highlight all the people in the studio room. You know who you are. Uh, I want to give a Sham Sham shout out to Mr. Dix because he's a real one all three years. Uh, I want to give another Sham Sham shout out to... Dylan Conley for being Dylan Conley. I want to give a Sham Sham shout out to Hayden and Maddie and Brendan Kai. Yep. Uh, and JJ Jones. Uh, and a Sham Sham shout out to the three amigos. You know who you are. And if you know, you know. Who would you guys like to give a Shamrock shout out to? I'll give a Shamrock shout out to my brother and these people and Callan over there. I'll give a Shamrock shout out to Miley. I'll give a Shamrock shout out to Addy, Callan, and Miley. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I give a shamrock shout out to Daisy and Alicia, but they're not here. Or Alicia is, but Daisy's not. I give a shamrock shout out to Esme, Calera, Lux, Daisy, Sarah, Ash, Sam, Lucy, Kellen, and Miley. and welcome all to the Shamrock News. It's a wonderful, amazing, spectacular wind day. <laughs> welcome one and welcome all to the Shamrock News. It's a beautiful Wednesday where the weather is beautiful. Wait, I already said beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Where the weather is beautiful and so are you. Oh, thank you. Wait, am I <laughs> <laughs> after that. No. You failed with that. Introduce yourself to coaches and enjoy some good food. <laughs> I'm gonna redo that that one. Oh, I need you, I need you, man. Oh, will you, honey, suck? You made the list. Why I smash my shin hat? Ah. We got a medium and large that will be. I like how comfortable they are for when you have to sleep with them. Bro, so awkward. Bro. Aristin. How does it feel to see people wearing your? Wait, yeah, don't, don't. Oh, let's get it. Shut up. See people wearing the clothes you designed. I feel good. Um, how do you design our? How do you all design your? Product? What? Huh? Does that even make sense? How Mr. Dix, <laughs> he, 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 old. Hey, he stutters in language, in, in yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, However, the Shamrock News is giving away two free. Yeah, call it, dude. Come on. Pretend, it. Pretend to read. Pretend like you're grading something. Yeah. Sick, man. Push back. Oh. Where the baddies? Closer that way. He misses the layup. I'll say it right here. I'll say it right here. Hey girl, today. I don't even know what I'm saying. Go. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jonah. What is on May 21st? The May Spring Fling Family. It's not spring. Is there a party? Yeah. Is there a party? Okay, let me redo that. Keep oh, rolling. So. We read all kinds of books from graphic novels to teen romance to fantasy to biog bi biographies. <laughs> we read all kinds of books from graphic novels to teen romance to. <laughs> Guys, what the heck is a truck? Then you'll need to fill out the front. Okay, wait, I need to. Number one, who is your favorite character? And number two, who is your favorite part? Favorite part? <laughs> Who is your favorite? Nine week, nine consent. <laughs> Can we get a I'm gonna take a temple. Take a, take a dive. Yeah, I'm gonna be loud. Okay. Alright. Whoa.